Hello, everybody. Um, on time. <laughs> Glory to God. Welcome to prayer, everybody. Just got my glasses. I must put them on. Right. Here we go. Here we go. My water. My prayer things. Right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's just give him thanks, everybody. Let's just make that switch. Let's make that switch into his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We glorify your name. We thank you for everything that you're doing at this time. We thank you for your intentionality with us as a people, Lord. Thank you for leading us strategically, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing us to this point of being in a crossover with you, Father. Thank you. All things leaving behind. All things dying, Lord. Things that must, we must leave behind, we're leaving behind, Father. Miracles you're doing in us, Father. Hallelujah. Glory with you, Holy Spirit. Crossing over with you. Crossing over with you. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Circumcision of our hearts, Lord. We're giving you our hearts. Continue to give you our hearts, Father. Listening to all your instructions. Receiving all your corrections, Lord. Thank you for increasing the fruits of our righteousness, Father. Thank you for making us as we ought to be, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you that we are becoming one with you, more one with you than we've been before. We're integrating our beings with you, Lord. We're thinking more like you than we ever have before. We're speaking like you more than we ever have before. We're acting and walking and working with you like we more than we ever have before, Lord. Thank you for the oneness that you're bringing about among us and with one another because it's with you first, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the words that you keep bringing to us. Thank you for your proceeding word that we're living by. We shall not live by bread alone. We do not live by bread alone. But we live by every proceeding word that, word that keeps proceeding and proceeding out of your mouth, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that we, that we can know you like this. We can experience you like this. Thank you that we can live like this with one another and with you, Father, that we can truly come out from among them in terms of our thinking and our speaking and our, our ways, Lord. And you are, can be our God and we can be your people and you can be our God. And that your house is our house, Father. We want you to know that tonight, Father. Your house is our house. Your house is our house. It's where we love to dwell. It's where we love to be. Right here where we are, Father. In your pattern and in your design and in your desire, Father. That corporate prayer was something that you designed that we see clearly in your word, Father. And we come because we know that you work with all of our words. You work, work with our faith tonight, Father. And Holy Spirit, thank you that as we pray, Thank you that you inspire, you inspire. We hook up with you tonight, Holy Spirit. Because as the Amplified Bible says it, us, when we pray in other tongues, our spirit, by you, Holy Spirit, prays to the Father. We do not speak to men, we speak to God. In the spirit we speak mysteries. Things that are beyond our understanding, Lord, and we pray beyond understanding. We pray beyond any limitations of the natural realm, Lord. And we pray in the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, according to you, according to your perfect will. 
And we thank you for all of this, Father, that we've prayed now together in the power of agreement. And we all say, Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray um, according to the book of Timothy. We're going to pray. But I'm just... Um, I'm just going to speak a little bit now. I'm just going to speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to just share with you um, where I've been in the messages that uh, Pastor John saw in the spirit. He said this. I saw a vision, he just recently said this on Tuesday evening of the 12th of March on our special services with Dennis. I saw a vision in the spirit of South Africa and things that would happen in the future in South Africa. And when I said it, the present company witnessed the power of what I said in the spirit and received it. And I want to tell you that South Africa's future isn't in the hands of the ANC or the government of the day. It is in our hands. It's in what we declare and what we pray. And it's in the order of our declaration and our spirit of faith. And then he said this. He said, he allowed me to see a warrior spirit. He's allowed me to see a warrior spirit that rests upon some people. And it's not just men. There are women that have a warrior spirit too. And God has need of people that have a warrior spirit. Glory to God. He said something very precious then. He said, God will bring me. Those with the warrior spirit are difficult sometimes because it's like they almost want to pick a fight, you know. It's almost like they're looking to have a fight. You know. And then he said, sometimes God will bring me into the presence of a warrior spirit and look them in the eye. And speak words of significance to them. Because in that moment of significance, the warrior spirit is satisfied that their purpose is still intact. They don't have to have a fight. They just, has to have, has, they just have to be ready for the fight. When the fight comes, I had no intention of talking like this tonight. But praise God, he's got it covered. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then, of course, we didn't know that Brother Dennis would the very next night bring this. He's bringing to an end some stuff, but the point of it is the warrior is the one who is committed enough to the cause to die. And when you no longer have the warrior spirit in an organization or in a church, that church is on its way to death. I think God was trying to tell us something when he put his son to death, the greatest move of war ever committed. His commitment to die so that we can have his power is his flipping off the devil for what he said to Adam and Eve is that God's insecure and he doesn't want to, you to have power. That spirit of the warrior, it says here, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was God's statement about how committed he was to share his power. Whoa, that spirit of the warrior, what are you ready to die for? When you no longer have a people where the leaders are willing to pay the sacrifice. Shh, listen. I'm not actually even going to carry on here now. Oh, Master, where are we now? He says, I believe that we are all, we are with all this fermentation with the apostolic ministry that is going to be leading the church. They're going to be leading the church strategically because God has a purpose for the body of Christ in this moment of history. I'm sorry to interrupt your joy with Jesus, with responsibility, but I'm going to do it anyway. He's got a word for the church. 
There's a world of difference between knowing truth and owning truth. I know truth and I'm, if I'm following God, I'm going through enough change that I'm digesting what I conceptually know. And it gets in my gut. And now I am that truth. And that truth is alive in me. It's alive in my being. And my being is being transfer, transformed. And what I, I wrote here when I was going through this is the strategic instructions and corrections and directions through every messages, if through every message, getting in our gut and owning it. That's where we get our instruction, our correction, and our direction from, is from every proceeding word that comes from the mouth of God through the messengers. And that's the truth that we must own, and that's the truth that we must become, and that's the truth that must get into our gut. Hallelujah. And um, there's many other things that I could say here, but he did say this. How is your prayer life? He's talking about South Africa. Um, it takes a lot of training for the Holy Spirit to allow us to get to a level. We have to have these workouts. Hmm. Wow. And this is, this is very much the way that the Lord has been leading us strategically through Pastor John's ministry. It is like Dennis Peacock says, it's, it's the messages are telling us to get rid of me. And it feels like you're committing suicide. The me, the meanness, the I. He put it so powerfully here. What does it mean to become a partner in God's ministry for himself? We're afraid to go so deep into this thing that we will lose what we call me. Holding on to your me, that is your world that you've created for yourself. Holding on to your me is so heavy when it's threatened. We're afraid to give ourselves to the spirit of God because it's almost like committing suicide. To be able and willing to get rid of me so that I'm out of me and in you. And as I'm in you, you're in me and we're fusing together. That's exactly what Pastor John's been preaching about us. Integrating ourselves so with God that we're all about. And that's what Pastor John said at the end of this. He said that we're living for his cause, not our cause. That we're living for his cause and not our cause. And that if we're seeking first the kingdom, then our cause will be taken care of. And this is the flip, the switch that's got to switch that's got to flip in us. That we're busy getting. And it is the big one. Because it has got to do with everything that I see in my world. My clothes my food, my cars, and my housing. The money I need. And so, to stop the chase, because we've seen the chase so long, is much more difficult than what we thought. Am I accurate in this? Right? But because we're purposed in our heart that we're going all the way, God spoke to us very clearly on Sunday, didn't he? Through scripture. I'm only talking about the scripture that he had me read. Not anything else even that he said through me. I'm only talking about the scripture with what things ought we to be content. All right. God, is, God has got to get us as a people to the place where we say to him, all my more is for you. Otherwise, he's not our first and he's not our all. 
if there's anything, whatever you compromise to keep, you will lose. You will lose in your purpose and you will lose in, in your assignment, in what God can actually do in you and through you, what he's purposed to do, because you are serving, still serving both. Right. So we're going to pray tonight for our, for, we're going to pray. Okay. We're going to pray according to God's word. We're going to pray for all men and for all those that are in, are in places of authority, but we're going to pray for all men. What does that scripture say we are to pray for? We ought to pray for all men and all those that are in authority because God wants all men to be saved and to come to the full knowledge of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, I've been reminded because Brother Dennis was talking about that he, I cry, I cry a lot. I cry a lot now. I cry for the people who can't protect themselves. I cry for the family and the people that are globally under attack. I cry. Is your prayer life engaged in this? So, it was in 2012 that uh, Bryn and I set, set some time aside uh, very significant year 2012 and we both recognized the significance of it and we spent some time in prayer and Britain had this come out of his spirit and I put it in one of my journals but I pulled these all out of my my 2012 journal and because it's come up again in my spirit because it's the miracles and the multitudes and the multiplication and what came out of Bryn's spirit was hey you over there on the other side, I'm coming for you. Hey, you. Hey, you over there on the other side, I'm coming for you. Hey, you over there on the other side. And um, I'm actually going to ask Bryn to come to just share some of that of what happened in him when Brother Jerry... Brother Dennis came and what the Holy Spirit sparked in him about the multitudes because he's been so involved with, these, with this thing with Pastor John and multitudes and multiplication, miracles, multitudes and multiplication. And it, it came up in 2012. Pastor John spoke about it. He spoke about it. I wrote this down. Um, Pastor John, in 2012, received a directive from the Lord to begin to pray for all men like never before. The Lord emphasized this to Pastor John. 1 Timothy 2, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. For this is good. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. And um, so I just, I just sense the Lord saying, so we've been diligent to that to a degree. We've been engaged with that from time to time, but I just sense the Holy Spirit saying to me, I th it was yesterday morning just saying to me, cost your net. Just cost it again. Cost it. Hey, you there on the other side, cost your net on the other side. Cost your net to the other side. And um, so if you just briefly just come and share, Bryn, uh, what the Lord inspired in you when Dennis came. I think I have to give a little bit of context first, yeah. if you don't mind, Ma. It's a, uh, it's a question that 
we've been asking who is the multitudes for us. Yeah. Okay, so I've been wrestling with God on, on this matter in particular. And uh, since the farm. Since the with farm. Pastor John and multitudes yeah. and you've been busy. Yeah. So you know, these are things that happen in my own prayer life and I don't speak about it to other people. But when a message comes and I and I hear it and I and I go, Well Lord who who are these multitudes that you are referring to? Yeah. Because I go to scripture and scripture focuses on the local churches and building strong local churches. Yes. And uh, and so everything that I see according to scripture is working and building with local churches. Yes. But we're not sheep stealers. So we don't go and get the multitudes from other churches. Exactly. So we're not sheep stealers. That's exactly so that's right. not the multitudes for us. No. So I was going, so Lord, what's the multitudes? Yeah. And I've and I've I've been I've been contending with the Lord in my own private time, well, yeah, since uh, uh, since last year and then when Brother Dennis came and he began to speak. It, he, he mentioned casting out your nets and casting out your nets for the saved and the unsaved that are lost. That's right. And the Lord said to me, those are the multitudes. The saved, the unsaved that are lost. Yes. They're not in other churches. They're the saved, but they're the unsaved that are lost. That's right. Those are our, multi our multitudes yes. that we are to go after. Yes. Not thief stealers, okay? Yes. That's not who we are. And so it went off on the inside of me because immediately after... Uh, Brother Dennis mentioned that he began to speak about uh, going to dimensions, and, and I'm paraphrasing some of what he said, but, but casting out those nets, there's an indication there that there's a dimension of prayer that we all need to go to, not just individually but that we all need to go to as a congregation to get the multitudes. There's a dimension of prayer that we all need to press to go to so that we can get the multitudes. And throughout history, you can take a look at all of the greatest revivals that have happened in the history of man. And it began through a spirit of prayer that broke loose within a church. A church, a local ecclesia, an established, legitimate church, and a spirit of prayer broke loose in that place, and the multitudes came some in their tens of thousands, some in their hundreds of thousands. And so there's, I, I have to restrain myself because there's, there is a, there is a zeal in me that consumes me for the house of the Lord Jesus. And, and so I'm going to just use an example, if, that, if that's all right with you, about a period of time that the Lord had me here in this building. Yes. And my assignment here was to pray. Yes. And all I did every night is I walked this building and there were times where I had some 
some worship and, and, and I, w I would sing to the Lord. But for two years, two years, all I did was I prayed every night. And it was roughly, I started at about 7.30. I'd already eaten and I would pray till about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Pastor Christie, I don't see Krobis here, but you are a witness because I would return early hours in the morning for many years. And that was the purpose that God had me here for those years. I had some stuff that I did in the office at the time, the ministry. But, I beg but there's a zeal that, that, that started in me for the things of God and for the house of God and for the people of God that, that I can't explain and I have to restrain myself because the time's not yet for me to release some of these things. But I want to encourage you that these multitudes, they are lost. They are lost. Yeah, they're lost. And the only way they're going to come in is through prayer. Yes. They're not going to come in through any other way. And so, yes, we've got to get the natural things ready, which we've been doing, so that when they come, we're able to look after them. We've had to get the natural things ready. And many of you know and can testify to the fact that we've been getting ready for the multitudes in the natural to look after them and take care of them. But there are some things that will only happen by us reaching out into places in the spirit in prayer. And I want to tell, I want to tell you all, I have touched on some things in the spirit. Sometimes I've been so far out in the spirit and I have been there where I felt I, have, I don't know whether I'm going to come back and actually physically come back to this body. But I want to tell all of you that there are places that you can go to in prayer that some of you haven't even scratched the surface. But I really believe Mom, that there are places that we can go together yes. with the corporate anointing yes. that, that I don't even know. I, I, I touched on it when, when we were with Brother Hagen and we were in one of his services because we all fell to our knees and we prayed for an hour and, and, and that's all we did. Kenneth Hagen was on stage and, and we fell to our knees and the whole congregation just prayed in the Holy Ghost for a whole hour. He didn't teach, he didn't speak a word, nothing. He, we, we fell on our knees and we were before God in prayer, praying in the Holy Ghost for the lost. Yes. The saved and the, the lost saved. The lost. And the lost unsaved. Yes. The saved and the unsaved lost. Yes. Yeah. And, and so if, if there's something that I can, I can just impart to you that really touched me and ministered yes. to me, is that there is a place that God has for us in the corporate dimension of prayer. Yes. Together, collectively. Yes. But let me tell you, you're not going to go there if you don't go there personally too. You have to go there personally too. You know, I said to me, Ron, I said I've been, I, I, I felt like I've been wanting to cry the whole day today and I, I, I actually haven't, I haven't understood it really. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get Bryn up chair and he's going to sit in his personal capacity to pray. And then we can each individually do what we want to do. Let's bring him a chair, please. Thanks, Miranda. Is it okay if I stand? You, yes, it is okay if you is want to stand. Is it okay if I stand? Yes, it's okay if you stand, Bryn. 
So what Bryn is saying, and Pastor John spoke about it a couple of Tuesday nights ago, he said, a fresh new spirit of prayer. A fresh new spirit of prayer. And so I just had in my heart to call Bryn up in, 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 in the way that we prayed in 2012 for all men. We, hey, you over there on the other side, we're coming for you. We're calling for you. And so let's, let's just have our hearts open now and let's have our hearts sensitive to the Holy Spirit and let Bryn be who he must be with the Holy Spirit and then let's see where we go with him. Right? And Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are at work here in us yeah. because this prayer is going to be for all men. Yes. Bryn. All the lost the saved and the unsaved saved. lost. Yes. Yes, my son. If you want to speak some more, you, you can. We're listening. There are those of us here tonight that are, are listening. But if you're going to go there in prayer, then we want to be with you. We want to see where we can go when you go. tears then it's tears let's see where the Holy Spirit wants yeah. to take you right and take us corporately let's press let's press as we pray for all men let's press for ourselves personally here tonight even though we're corporate Father. Father, for the saved and the unsaved that are lost. The lost, Lord. And that's what I saw in the Spirit those years ago. And I heard the sound over which seemed like an abyss. And so many souls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the souls of many, many, Lord. It was a, a river of souls that just kept pouring into this abyss. Uh, but I heard the sound of your spirit. And I heard you say, Hey, you there on the other side. I'm coming for you. Hey, you there on the other side. I'm coming for you. Yes, Lord. I heard your Holy Spirit. I heard Jesus and the Father as one. Calling. Calling. Those who are saved and unsaved, but lost. 
lost and falling, lost and falling. And so, Father, now having heard these sounds and having some words for those that can understand and get a better picture through the use of imagery, the intensity and the seriousness and the weightiness of this matter. And Father, we can pray together yes. earnestly yes. for, the, for the souls that are there on the other side. Yes, Lord. And so, Father, I ask you, I ask you that you move in the hearts of everyone here tonight and I ask that you begin you begin you begin to ignite that zeal for those that are on the other side and that you would wake many of them up Lord, as you have with me before, <laughs> where a spirit of intercession would overtake them and overcome them. <laughs> For those that are on the other side, <laughs> many of whom have no families praying for them, Many whom have no one interceding for them. <sighs> Father, that you would begin to ignite that zeal within each and every one that hears my voice tonight. That these are the souls of many. These are the souls of men and women that are at stake. Oh. Oh. This is no light matter for you, Lord. And you can do nothing on the earth unless... As men and women ask of you. And so we ask. We ask for those who are on the other side that you said you're coming for. We ask for them, Father. <laughs> oh. Yes, Lord, yes. <laughs> yes, Father. I know. I know. I know. Must be obedient to just what, what, what the Father, Holy Spirit is speaking to my heart. And for many of you, this crossover will be determined 
by how much you are prepared to yield to the spirit of prayer in your lives. Yeah. Hear me now. The spirit of prayer. You know, sometimes it's messy business, this, when, you, <laughs> when you're in prayer, sometimes it's messy business, so always have a box of tissues handy, sometimes a toilet roll will do too. But for many of you, this crossing over will be determined based on your individual, your choosing to yield to the Holy Spirit in your own personal prayer life. Yeah. Not to your own personal television watching schedule. Not to your own personal ticking the box of even being in the message. Please don't get me wrong, please be in the messages. I'm not saying don't be in the messages. But I'm talking about a yielding to the spirit of prayer. The Holy Spirit moving on you to pray. Okay. So I'm going to ask now. Is there anyone here and the Holy Spirit is moving on you to pray? Already. I have a start. I do have a start in me. Go. For this. Go with the start. For this. Yes. And let's see how yeah. the activation will go in our yeah. hearts. Bryn. Yeah. Yes. Mm. You're praying now for all men on the other side. Yeah. Yes, she kiran ta proftan to ki ano retema Natasha leki. Yeah, she an to thra fire back is kinto no no malikia prophetie. There's Aram brosh goto pro tosh de femene and the mish goto pro fataya alana no mondo undandeshke. The mesti antro ono bosco profete aya gano andangea and ovredo in de stika alaflando palia fayo moko rofo tolede. Mm. Yeah, 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 Dice vicio lo pranatalogo, e si vriga ta prina antrofe e le scia haia gando, e e amato sotto tonne de chi drabo sola haio o le vendre de ginete, e de ma sciorro cala pata voto vesto do, e de di vicio no monde chi indore de sce, de sghete go trabascio, ya, 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 fojolo pre, Prento scotto fohore beti, ascindindingo giabduf dind ante to stotre, eschiti cotto at catro, che tu o fo a mbesh e am no stotta cano. Oh, ha, ha, 
Shaya, Maya, Shea, Pitaku, Rovosh, Ore, Vindu, Faya, Shano, Makaya. Ah, 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 Shore, Betikit, ah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we will. We will yield, Lord. Yes. We will yield, Lord. We will yield. We will yield. Yes. Yes. We will yield. Yes. We will yield, Lord. We will yield. Baratus, won't you come and stand here with Bryn? Pray for all men. So ha begin the regala she nor a hammer gondra. Tobla gain the regatta le sibri endro go to the tea habati. Yaboro den the regatta la tea himene habala ke heboshi ki risi endro. Tam la gan the regatta la tiki beyond the gondolo bita la habatiki amoro she. Rehemo kondro haba kiti androti brindi andro gotelo beteli bi andro dotela haba tu ya mono ta hai be kendra kendra kashi resendro gotelo hai me handra katapati shiem loki min randanta la ke boroboto le tihi me ya borobandre ten le kendra gata la shi kiri aso horo morog botolo ti priti amharo shan ramala ke shere se le be ben rodete se ni hamo no to ya haba ti ya ke mo ya nante ke bi ye ne he to la ha ki ya banto ya te ye te bo ya ti ya hala ke be he to ro mondo ro gen regete le se bri ki ano sholo salahat ki mina ha i mi ne kolo shere haba la den do rodete ke bete le men rodete le ti ki amo ro boro bandra gata la ti ti bi ando ro do lo te ke le mena ra bata la ti ki a she re se endro goto lo ti Ramono tono na la haba ki ya mono da te te le te ke ya baya te le te le ben regata la ti Briandro gondro gesha kala se la balabanta kati ya botolo ishi 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 ya samoso kontra bala ke rachan radando ro denre Ben radata la ti ki ya noro shehe la bata la ti hi baha i meda Mehe na ha li ki hi ni yono gondro botole be Pranana kana tiki di digi di andro goto le be shakala se le be la bara bandre bendre be te le be re bendre ge te le be ki ya bolo bolo bendre bendre doto la tala tiki mi ana ga shahala se ki ben toto ye bendre la ra bato ko ya she heba ki ridi endre te to lo ta dan rada se ki be si bi anto Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Yes Lord Bertus, I just sense that there's a there's a sound in you. There's a sound in you that must come out. And it's okay if you take some time to locate that sound with the Holy Spirit. But this there's 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 a sound that must come out from you, Bertus. It is a sound. It's a sound. Yang Andre ki bih 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 anto te ai ben riesce se bo khoni di di andro gotoro bala be vandra gata la tiki bi andro goto le deshe kere se rakhrendre gete le bi bi anto toto te te ke bela bahata la tiki ahana te redete se le sen gondro bi siki amondondoti ihanora dalage shakala sabala vandre gete le be 
Pronasa ka moro hodo han rihdi hin ya mono mara bendre pa ya patata tete me ke shikiri andro da la bendro gotole ki rede sendre de tele mohabata na ne ke bi andro gara di da bara gandra gete le ge she kere simro bondo ya brabanda tata tiki la habachi men rodo to ya hala tendre gete le ge she kara sendre tandra bata la tiki ya moro bondo to tata tete pi biato 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 bondro boto lo ge she kara sabara bara bi andra dandra Ese que le belo bolo bandre que te rebetre, betre 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 lo tal shikiri andro, damblo basha cara sendre bete le be, dan rade ese que bete te 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 yo boto ta da haba ki, mromono to le se kere se reben drogo to la ti, raha bata la hae que me nege se kere sendro, mojro randra gata la ti, briandro goto li dia se que me ne bendre, ben radata la te ki ya boto to ya ege, ye se hana honora bala bara bandre que te le te, brede esha cala si, Kiri yamoro boro dantra ta deke sheke mana tandandra dati yo bro da sheke lebe rana taloko morohi rana monotologi biando ro danda gere ben rebe prada sheke lebo hondi di andro gondro di la rabandra gata la baya kaya sheke resendre ben tara bala bara bendre tandra te te be pahati yabo sheke la sabantri hallelujah yes hallelujah 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 well, they were. A Hallelujah. Few. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see the spirit of the of the Lord on you, Jess, and I see the spirit of the Lord on you, Janine, to pray for those. I would prefer you to sit and pray, but for the sake of the Joburg people and everybody else that want to be part of this, come, Jay. Come, Jess. The Spirit of God is on you to pray for all men. Hallelujah. Here we go. You go first, Janine. And then you go. And then you might go again. Okay. Yeah, just stand right here. We can participate. Priyombriyatukibrahushatapiyatapita. Mien dio pre la bru biala ninde ke la bru la tia papa tia kai ni ataya ku krea ba ya ta ya ta o ta bi ke e ayam bru papi akrite mene muki ati ha chu pre mondre brabi moko bi apati rakan sru bru brahati kimene bru non de la ya tia o sa tia Andre le pro bo papa ya bro ho mi andru ba o ge ai ya shubra ne kri lo mre la rori di ramando ya yo su mre ne la ruba ya kru menendi la rubra shia ka ne bro moli ri la brandro go ye ru ru o shia ya bro mi a ya sura mo kri mre Mro mi aluru ru mi andro mo shi kria ya subre me le bruboli le andro ko shi tirara le krubi andra ye shumre grindra o shi abro bra shi nene lori ribra rubre menele rura rabia ruru ko shi a ne sibri mindro brubre kira mrura ye ruru mi atara ye sumra nongro mo ya ye ruru ye sum ye mane ya yoga ya andro ba yo sumre mirara. Ye trubra, ye ndruru rubra shindre, me kriya, ya sumro, me tru, yo sumro, ye subriara, ye krumen indre, ye subra bia, ya subro, usha, hai, ya, yo, ni, ni, ro, ro, ya, ya, ya mororo krumiandra, ye sumra hiyarara, usha, ya mororo, ya, 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 mo kriya, ya, ye sumro, yo, ya, 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 ume, ha, Shimre, Yaru, Yandro Roku, Yandro Hoshi, Nindre, 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 Yaru Robo Shindra, Ashumra Yikrimre, Yaru Robra, Yaru Robin Indre, Yaru Ro, O Shandri, Le Shumre, Leru Rokrombra, Ashimro Horere, Le Lo, Yo, Yasumro, Comre, 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 Yaru Roku Shindre, Andre, Yoman Indre, Yaru Krombro, O Shambro Hindere, Hayaya, Hayaya, O Shi, Yasu, Yo, 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 Ya, 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 Ambro, Obi, Ya, 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 Ah. 
ama sita kasre ma kadru budu kuro tra kadriya madriya babandru ama se kasi kadriya madru mo kusru tra ya makaya ama sita ra kasriya babandru ho ma kasi adre ma sa kedra madru ama kasi kasri tra kadru mo sukudru su tra braya ama si ama si ka babandru mo sukudra kraya ma se tra kraya ama ka ama ka ya ma se tra kasi madru kuro ma kadri Jason Janine started to pray. <laughs> there is a group of, group of people being led to like a concentration camp <laughs> where they are about to be slaughtered. <laughs> and Janine is calling the names <laughs> of the people being led to the slaughter. <laughs> and Jason's crying, come on. <laughs>
want to call for those on the other side. Nini, you want to call? Come call. That's what we're doing. We're yielding for, because we're calling to those on the other side. They are lost. Sesta krata tu, no ne mente kreta tu, sha, she, shu, o ne mesti kita tu, ka, iesti kita tu, no no tu kropra mane ne esta krata te ke ne te kreta tu, o, o, sha, o se kreta tu na nanta ista mata tu, o ia. Oh, ne Cristo grata tu. Oh, e io. Oh, io. Sha, che ne io. Che sha. Sha, oh, io. Oh, io. Sha ki na no oh ye ne ne shete sha ne ke te shete na o ne ye shete ah o shete te te tu oh Io ne ne se te e na no 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 vei te se creta tu Ferente se so o o ye Ferente creta tu lo bereste e ma non tu crota te O se se e o o o o o o o Oh, 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 oh. These are unspeakable yearnings and groanings too deep for utterance. It's what Brother Jerry brought with these seven messages. When Zion travails, she brings forth. Oh. So God wants to take us to an new levels in the spirit of prayer intercession for all men learning to yield to the holy spirit more letting him take you into the realm of the spirit more than where you've been before right Hallelujah. 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 Hey. I want to come past to Sharon. Alrika, you want to come? You want to call for those on the other side that are lost? Yes.
We have to press. Yes, we have to yield. We have to yield <laughs> to the Holy Spirit. Yield. Yield. Yeah. Yeah. Yeda ne nur ne ne shukur marada do hare de tu shur marada te da te do do te ne ne no 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 she ne no no she na na ne 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 no no na 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 no marada de we're yielding we're yielding we are yeah no 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 we're all yielding you she de yeah you she ne ne te de she de do あのノーシェ。ウェルオーディオーディ。いや。あのノーシェネノーリネントルドトシェ。ネトトドマンテシェ。ネネメテレゲシュネネシュ。ウェルオーディオーディシェ。イエス。イエス。ウェナノーシェ
to increase and intensify, corporate prayer to increase and intensify. This is us pressing, Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, thank you for helping us. Holy Spirit, thank you for helping us, being with us. Thank you for all our sounds, all our unspeakable yearnings and groanings. Even those of us that were, were with those that, were, that had the unspeakable groanings, we were there with them, Lord, in our spirits and with our hearts. That it's made a difference, a big difference to many people's lives already, Lord. Because you know how to answer. You know how to answer these groans. The Message Bible says you make prayers out of our wordless sighs and our aching groans. And we've all been here tonight to a measure with that in our hearts, Lord. So thank you, Father for the privilege of being able to press, Lord. For we want, to, we want to be more in prayer that you know that we can be. We want to go to places with you in prayer. In Jesus' name, thank you. I pray for your people that they are blessed going out. Bless coming in, surrounded and protected by the word and the blood of Jesus. Everybody in Johannesburg, everybody in Lanasia, in Deep Sluit, in Morganson, thank you that you pressed in with us tonight and uh, enjoy the, be blessed in the rest of your evening. Bye bye, everybody. Do you want to come just say a little bit what happened here tonight for you? Well, Pastor Sharon, we have praised, and I, I can really say this, what is in my spirit, yes. because we came by faith. Yes. Lord Jesus, get our brothers and get our sisters. Yes. Get our brothers get and get our sisters. Get them. Get them. Get get them. them. And we say thank you. Thank you are getting them. Yes. Get them, yes. Lord. Get them. Get them. Get, them. get them, Lord. We are rejoicing. We come by faith. Yes. You get them, Lord. Get them, we give Lord. you all the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. All the glory. All the glory. All the glory. You get them, Lord. You get them. Our brothers and our sisters. Get them, Lord. Get them. Hallelujah. Get them, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to the Lord. Thank you, Christy. That's what we needed to end on a note of praise. Glory to God. Okay, now we can go home if, if you can. <laughs>